Welcome to Scrap Dragon TV. In this episode, we'll discuss shipping. We'll view the process for creating shipments and packs. A contract would already have been set up beforehand. This video just shows the shipping procedure from the scale operator's point of view. Shipping is found on the main menu. From the shipping menu, we can easily create, hold, and close shipments, view packing lists, create a spot contract, and manage containers and transfers. We'll touch New Shipment. On the Contract Finder by Document Number screen, you can search for a contract and select Yards. When searching, this screen searches for many things, such as the customer contract and material. You may filter by selecting one of the filter items. In our case, we're going to search for a monthly contract. Then I can choose the contract I want if more than one displays. Copper for October is already selected. We'll add a shipment. On the Edit Shipment screen, we can create the shipment. We can add the carrier and ship from details. We can add order numbers, booking numbers, contact information, and other details here. We're going to change the shipment to Packed. Now we'll touch the Packed List magnifying glass and we'll add a packing list. This list shows the materials on our contract. A1 Copper is already selected. We're going to go to the pack details. Here we can add our packs. The fastest way to add packs is to simply scan them. However, we're going to enter the pack numbers. Once we've entered the pack number, the details by tag are shown. And we'll enter another one. Notice we've added three packs. We can also create a new pack here, so we're going to touch New Pack to see that screen. The New Pack screen is where we create the pack. The pack type can be changed, and we enter the gross and tear weights and other details here. Once we've finished adding the details, we're ready to close the pack and add it to the list. In our case, we're going to close without saving. We can also view details by material and pick packs. Notice the packs loaded are shown on the right, while those that are available are shown on the left. In our case, we're finished, and we just have to save and close the screen. Notice that our new pack has been added, showing 4,000 pounds. We're going to select that pack list and return to the Edit Shipment screen. And we'll enter the scale weights. The truck arrives empty, so we'll add the tear weight first. The truck is now loaded up with the pack, so we'll add the gross weight. And we'll add our carrier. We could add more details here, but we're going to leave it as it is. So we'll close the shipment and create the freight ticket. The last step is to print the shipping documents, packing list, weight ticket, and bill of lading. We're going to print all. And we're done. We just looked at shipping pack shipments. What's the procedure for loose shipments? Let's see. We'll look for another contract. We're going to select autos for November and add a shipment. We'll select the material. And we'll add the weight of the vehicle empty. And the truck is gone and loaded up and returned to the scale. And we'll add the carrier. And we're ready to close the shipment. And we're done. That's all there is to creating a loose shipment. Once you have Scrap Dragon installed, you'll be able to complete a course which explains shipping in more detail. 
This concludes this episode of Scrap Dragon TV.